the cat said about uh with flashbacks of Jay. They feel like the video, which was eight men in the church. Um, and but we the people want to know, haven't you guys? Sister, so, so this is the way I feel about it. Everybody got a hustle, sus. Let them more and more men. To well, you see, they, are they mirroring Jay Z sitting in there acting like she was a high priestess? They don't disrespect the church, black community for click. They're really doing it for therapy into their music. Don't trust. Like I said, as they, they have put enough their money where they can shut their mouth about all this infidelity. So long, y'all ready to beat his ass in the elevator. However, yeah. they can put their life work and their Tina life. Tina didn't leave Matthew, and Beyonce ain't gonna leave Jay Z till Blue is grown. Tina didn't leave Matthew. That Jay Z remind Beyonce of her father. She been going through this, so she's living her mother history. Her grandmother's history and her great grandmother's history, cause they all was cheating it on down there in New Orleans, and they all decided to stay. Cause back in them days, you stayed with your husband. You got Blue Ivy and you got these twins. You can't leave Jay Z, cause another hoe sucking his dick late at night, cause you don't do it. Sucks that dick, believe it. Not good enough. But that's a man. Men do that. Ask that hoe what she doing and tell her to teach you some tricks, girl. Just call her up and ask her what Jay Z like. And, and she'll teach you. She know, she know what Jay-Z like. She mad with her. Jay-Z with her for the check. You know all men is trying to get up. She be for me, I feel like Kim and Beyonce. She don't, Beyonce don't fuck with, with Bill. So Blue and, 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 and Lil Bitty uh, North don't play together? Their music. And they are allowed to put their live material. They Why have. Kim don't want Blue playing with, Beyonce don't want Blue playing with North? North do always be looking mean in every picture. She act like she's scared. Is it because of the cameras being in her face? Or why she act like she's scared? Like she's seeing something. Beyonce, take Blue over there to play with Noah. You, what you think? Are we tired of seeing them hash out their relationship problems on the video or no? I'm fine with First it. she was acting like she was Oshun. Now she a Catholic priest. Why you ain't watch it? You ain't a Beyonce fan? I am a Beyonce fan, but I didn't watch it. I mean, Is I Beyonce going to be at any of the prize this year? Is she going to be at DragCon? She should have put some of her fans in the video because we tired. Because that's an ugly motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> got money. You know, Blue Ivy, look, you are not no priestess, no high priestess, no Catholic priestess. Uh, you do not represent the black women at all. So, uh, we tired of hearing this same shit replay over and over and over. I'm going, I love, I like Jay-Z's album and I like her. I like the Jay-Z's album. I did, but the video, all I'm saying is the Catholics and the Christians don't like the fact that you're married <laughs> and you showcase the infidelities inside of the church. Why y'all didn't find somewhere else? But to where do you go to do your to, to confess? Next case, sir. She ain't going nowhere, like I said. So next case. Do we need to call Beyonce? You calling Beyonce? Get on the line here. <laughs> they got a short number. They, they stay up the street. Hello. Hey, Blue. <laughs> hey. What's Oh, you with your auntie? Oh. Oh, your mama went looking for your daddy. Oh, Becky. Oh, she, he, she, he, she went to go see if he was at Becky's house. Oh, so they dropped you off at your auntie's house. Yes. What you doing? You painting? And crocheting and making tea. Oh, yes. Okay, well, when your mama get home from chasing after your daddy, tell her to call the Queen's Court because we're trying to find out what's going on because the Catholics is mad about them and and, 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 and they want and I want to find out exactly what's going on. So tell your auntie I say hey. All right, baby. Bye. Blue with her auntie. Her mama ain't there. Her mama chasing her daddy. So then let's move on to the next case. All right, next case. Next case. Oh shit. All right. Sis, leave Beyonce alone. Yeah. I ain't sent this in. The Catholic sent this in. <laughs> when she called, we'll find out what's going on. Next on the docket, we have Genuine. Oh, what Genuine done did? Yet? My saddle waiting. Honey, jump on it. Hallelujah. Mm. You are being charged with being in the right place at the wrong motherfucking time. Now, I watched the video. It says, Genuine refused to kiss a trans woman on live TV, and now the internet is at war. 
Let me tell you something. I sat there and watched that clip. So like his wife's name. I don't know his wife's name, but I watched that clip and personally She cleared her husband going on that on that show. <clears throat> Could have. Okay. What I do like about Genuine is that it, there's a big difference between being transphobic, right? And having a preference. Okay. Okay. The man don't like near one of them hoes that was sitting up there. I didn't know what the fuck was going on when I was looking at things. I was like, who are these masculine white women that's got their arms around so they him? Wanted, not only did they want him to kiss a trans woman, they wanted him to kiss a trans white woman? Yes. So you know that one she was. had leaned in on him like this. She was like, you know, bitch, I would have leaned back too. Looking like Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> looking like the whole cast of the Beatles. Everybody was like, he didn't want to kiss oh. her. Is definitely on genuine side in this one. I didn't. I didn't find anything. genuine knew what he was signing up for. Where is so? What's his wife name? I didn't They're find divorced. anything transphobic so about. Oh, they divorced. Yeah. Sus, I didn't find anything transphobic <laughs> about this situation. Two whole sitting up there looking like Paul McCartney and the Beatles. <laughs> the, the, the producer said the entire one. set of the Beatles. <laughs> he should I want knew. this man to lock y'all with y'all <laughs> hoes, bitch, on national TV. Get the fuck out of here. Genuine said, y'all got me fucked all the way up. <laughs> but he did it in a nice way. He, he was did. like, oh. He was like, no. Let him and I don't see shit. Jay-Z would have kicked your ass in the face. He would have kicked them whole, whole head <laughs> off their motherfucking body on TV. On TV. But we don't know what he would have done when it was off. <laughs> oh. So we here at the Queen's Court are on Genuine's side. Genuine, you are free to go. Next case. Next case. All right, next on the doc, Kim Zosiak, <laughs> you're being charged with completely disrespecting a room full of black women and a voodoo high priestess of the Third Reich. And all of this was orchestrated and ordered by Kim and Nick Cohen. That couldn't have been no voodoo high priestess at the Third Reich because she would have knew what she was dealing with before that bitch got, got even got in there. How she let this woman disrespect her and she walked off with her sage? She nene left disrespect her she called her all kind of papa was imaginary ain't nobody ain't see big papa from kim so kim is a kim is a real motherfucker she walked that's how i you told do. you how she walked in there fight your ass right there in your well shit. nene roasted portia why she didn't roast kim for accusing her to be a potty head on national tv allegedly she roast portia down she told uh cynthia to sit back and be pretty and shut up she told the voodoo priestess that, girl, you ain't no voodoo priestess. I am the spirit. She did say that. You let that devil worshiping, incubus, succubus, white demon tell you that you was no priestess in your face and you got up and walked off and ought to knock a wig off. <laughs> you say you a medium, a psychic medium, but you didn't see... That she was no real hoodie for this. Because, bitch, if you would have been coming to the Queen's Court, bitch, it would have been like chicken bones would have been thrown chicken bones again, sister. Bitch, would have dug off of this green motherfucker. This is right here. We and the painted <laughs> face. <laughs> That's how she would have been. Bitch, wig would have fell all the she way. She would have left before I left. I would have smoked her ass up out of there. Bitch. Now, sus. So, do you think Andy Cohen set Nene up and Nene? Andy went, Cohen sets all the just up. like Nene, like Andy drug addict. Because you know Andy and 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 Doctor Phil, they say put drugs and alcohol in the 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 dressing room so you can be high as hell before watch what's happening. But that's now. what allegedly they say. That's what Kathy Kathy Griffin did. I say know that. it's a fact now because the way Kim went on there and said what kind of drug is you on, she act like she had some inside inside scoop from Andy. <laughs> Well, bitch, it seems like that you have pulled up some inside scoop on Kim Zosiak that came from this place right here. Can you please elaborate on this? Because you've been trying to get this information out for the longest of me. I tried to stop you before, but this seems like the perfect time. Line. They say Kim Zodiac has been a whore. Uh, it was a big uh, internal affairs investigation. A police chief got fired. Um, it was all over the news. The wife divorced him. She was 16, messing with a 50-year-old police chief. He had to retire. So she been selling puss to Big Poppers. <laughs> so if you can sell puss to imaginary Big Poppers, Kenya's husband can be invisible and imaginary too. 
Why was it okay for Kim Zodiac to do it, but she trying to check Kenya about doing it? Do you think Kenya's ever going to show her husband that she pregnant? Now, I'm usually not being Kenya, but I do believe Kenya will bust Kim's ass. Well, she should have did it last night. Yeah, they should have. Any time that y'all was supposed to bust Kim's ass, it was last night. All of them. Too many black bitches in one spot. Kim say Candy been wanting to suck her pussy that her and Todd been swingers. I think we need to register Candy as a sex offender because Candy is always in the middle of a sex handle. She got a deadly pussy. Every, you know, we need to register Candy as a sex offender so they can know what they're dealing with. This is, we still got her here. We may not talk about it, but she's still. Put a big black X on that pussy because they need to know. If you get a hex pussy. Look how it's toe up in the front. Call a cult gym. <laughs> Todd has been swingers, been sucking, fucking, licking, and fingering everybody's pussy, not only on, on the housewives, but also in Atlanta and around the world. Allegedly. So, uh, do we believe Kim or do we believe Candy? We register her as a sex offender. All right. So, that's what we registered. What did we send us to Kim Zodiac to? An mm -hmm. ass whooping? Y'all should have been snatched that wig off of Kim. <laughs> Y'all should have been snatched that wig off of Kim, but first just whoop Andy because all she's doing is following orders. <laughs> Next up, please. All right, so last on the thing here, we have some great stories. Kaya, I would like to tell you, I, I'm putting this in at the end because that was the last person in my case. The search warrant that we gave Toya right for mm -hmm. her for Christmas, mm -hmm. the husband, the baby daddy was found. The criminal. The one that they say that's been the baby the daddy NBA has been found. We have the longer than uh, 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 uh prison boyfriend. Yes, so I mean they say he's a con artist. They say he owed Tristan, the Tristan that's messing with Chloe and that left his real child for this mixed child. They say he's been stealing money from a lot of people allegedly. <laughs> that we gave her for Christmas, it did work out, and we are very proud. Of with him basketball and name and the child it was his the 16 year old Lil Wayne say that's not his child so he ain't claiming the child so these are these are great these are these are these are success stories these from the queen yes stories. so we Toya we are glad that the daddy has been found he's a criminal when we found him yes and we are so happy in the bag season everybody got a security let that woman secure her bag well, Deb said that they ain't doing nothing but running their mouth in the calm down. So, y'all make sure y'all watch Growing Up Hip Hop on WeTV. On WeTV. Shouts out to WeTV. All right now. All right. And the last success story that we got tonight, me. A WM. That is a W. That she doesn't. I like people. I like people. Roll me, me to some pussy. She was. Playing. Some dead. After you mm. eat my. Those are the success stories. Okay. All right. We take a call. We're going to take a call. It's an hour and 40 minutes. It's an hour and 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our calls on Instagram tonight. So please run over there to the Instagram. Uh, you want to do it here, Instagram? I want to say all of you animal owners, if you leave your pets outside and it's cold, I'm going to lock it. <laughs> I'd advise you to get those dogs and put them inside or I'm going to lock your What I don't get is people being more kinder to dogs and animals than they are to human beings. I am more kinder to animals than I am to human beings. I don't give a fuck about a human being, you ugly <laughs> motherfuckers. But when it comes to my animals, I will give you life. So I advise you, if you have a pet, it is cold, bring your dogs inside. If I find out that you're leaving the dogs outside on the chain in the cold, you won't do laundry. Go outside for wreck. You're going to stay your way. Especially in Atlanta. Uh, Alabama, Chicago, New York. Oh. If you don't really want to be a dog owner and lover, give it to the Humane Society because I am. And if I find out that you've been keeping the dogs outside in the cold, I'm locking your ass up. And you want the dogs and the children. Fuck Put you dog beings. ass niggas and hoes outside. Give the dog to bed. <laughs> Next day. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are in Atlanta, the Queen's Court will be loud, live, and in color at Club Rush tomorrow night, Tuesdays for Tipsy Tuesdays. So come on out to Tipsy Tuesdays. Because we're going to be there loud, live, and in color. And don't try no stunts because, bitch, we motherfucking Zulu warriors. And we will. We have a... <laughs> and send you bitches to the bitch bone, y'all. fall out, bitch! <laughs> and they're going to say, how did that bitch die? Natural cause. <laughs> I live in the forest, bitch. Don't fuck with me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please head over to our Instagrams and things of that nature because we're going to go ahead and then take calls. We put the call up there, so head over to our Instagram. That's the real T.S. Madison and the Kaya.
Kaya, Kaya Shimon. Uh, Kaya, Kaya Thug, Thug Misses. Misses. Yes. Kaya Thug. Our next caller. All right, ladies and gentlemen, head to our Instagrams. Thank you for tuning in to the Queen's Court. We'll see you next week. The Queen's Court. Oh, thank you. Visit www. Shop with the Queen's Court. We're getting all your t-shirts and stuff up, so make sure you shop with the Queen's Court. The Queen's Court. Dot com. Yeah, stop the move